If there's one thing that Ellensburg is known for, it's the annual rodeo, which draws in nearly 36,000 people every year. In fact, the Ellensburg Rodeo is known as one of the best nationwide. Last year's rodeo ranked number 11 in the country. But the rodeo just wouldn't be the same without a rodeo court. And Ellensburg just gained a brand new queen. We're joined in studio today by the 2017 rodeo court, princesses Jade Cotterell and Megan Ray, and rodeo queen Brittany Skibness. Thank you, ladies, for joining me and being here today. Thank you for yeah, having, thank us. You for having us. So what are some of the things you guys do as the rodeo court? As a rodeo court, we travel all over Washington State promoting our rodeo as well as supporting our fellow PRCA rodeos. Awesome. And Brittany, we actually have your crowning yes. moment here today for you to relive once again. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was it like hearing your name being called? It honestly was a dream come true. I can remember sitting in the stands of our Ellensburg Rodeo as a little girl just thinking, you know, I want to be that one day, and I worked my hardest since I can remember, and being on the stage really just was a dream come true to me. Awesome. Take us through the process of uh, the rodeo court process. As the rodeo royal court, to get on it, we compete in a riding competition in the fall with a meet and greet, so we get to meet all the judges, um, talk with them about rodeo, and just get our first glimpse of what we're in for for the year. And then later on in January, we have our coronation banquet where we compete in modeling in our speeches. And then by the end of the night, we're all crowned and ready for the new year. Cool. How much time goes into preparing for this competition? I'd say several months go into preparing for it. You have to get mentally prepared as well as get your horse in shape and ready to go. Um, then you need to practice your speech, which takes, memorize your time. speech, which takes a long <laughs> yes. time. So there's a lot of preparation. Did anything in particular inspire your guys' speeches? I think for me and Megan, it, it was definitely family-related. Yeah. I talked about my dad, because I recently lost him a few years ago, and he was a really big influence on my life and why I joined horses. And going through my experience of attending the Ellensburg Rodeo with him really sparked my interest to be an ambassador for it. With my speech, I went totally opposite, because I knew if I talked about family, that would bring the waterworks and I would not be able to speak, so I talked about more of just the aspects of rodeo. And what made you all run for rodeo court? What was it that inspired you guys to go for the crown? I think growing up, um, all of us, our whole lives in Ellensburg, uh, for me especially, just watching the rodeo every year, I've always looked up to the rodeo queens and said, I want to do that someday. And so just chasing your dream and just accomplishing it. I've known a lot of the past rodeo queens and princesses and just seeing their year and what they get to experience and go through and traveling is definitely a big aspect of it and I'm that's probably what I'm looking forward to the most. Mm -hmm. I remember in 2007 it was my first Ellensburg rodeo actually I attended and me and my dad hopped the fence at the end to go for the Ellensburg rodeo autograph party <laughs> and I met the royal court and meeting those girls and seeing how much fun they were having representing our rodeo just made a huge impact on my life and I just wanted to make an impact on other people. Awesome. So speaking of making an impact, uh, you guys are working with the Fish Food Bank for their backpacking program. Tell yes. us a little bit about that. We are. We partnered with Fish Food Bank this year to help promote their backpack program, which sends kids home with food on the weekends or weekdays, which is a backpack full of food. And it focuses on the kids that don't have food for their families. Um, and we are here to promote um, the Fish Food Bank and the Backpack Program because they have recently lost their funding. So we want to be able to promote them and help them regain their funding. Awesome. That's really cool. What are you all most excited for when it comes to being on Rodeo Court? Meeting all the little kids that come yes. to the rodeo and are so excited to see the queens and princesses. And just seeing the excitement on their face that they're at the rodeo, it just warms my heart. I think I'm most excited about uh, explaining to people what we do because a lot of people just think that we, we sit pretty on a horse, but we're really there to promote our rodeo and be able to teach people what rodeo really is. I'm excited for the traveling aspect of it. It's going to be definitely um, a year of life experiences. Definitely. Well, I'm excited for you guys, so thank, thank you, you so much for joining us today. Thank, thank you. Thank you for having us.